Hi, this is Caitlin here at Comic-Con with Darth Vader. Hello, Darth. You do look much more approachable in the pink. So basically, you're here recruiting? Absolutely. I'm telling them that we have puppies and cookies. And that works? It seems to be, yes. Do you get like um, a little bit of pent-up rage when you have to be friendly all day in your, in your pink robes? I'm all about pent-up rage. Can you tell me a little bit about your costume? Well, this is a stab at uh, steampunk, and uh, I said, well, how do you make steampunk a little more extreme? Let's add a dinosaur. After a few frantic weeks, we finally got this design to work, and here we are. Yesterday, I showed up with a steampunk frock coat and top hat that had more metal than fabric, and it was killing me. So I said, all right, let's go with a tropical version. So I got the pith helmet and the Indiana Jones shirt, and it's working for me today. That's awesome. I really, um, I'm impressed. I am dressed as Lumpy Space Princess from the show Adventure Time on Cartoon Network. Have you seen any more of her here at Comic-Con? Actually, I haven't. I've been here since the preview night, and I haven't seen any Lumpy Space Princesses, so I'm really, really happy, because I was just like, yes, I'm original. I think you're the only Lumpy Space Princess at Comic-Con 2012, <laughs> and I'm here with... The great Googly Woogly, otherwise known as Tiny. Instead of being your typical, like, Spider-Man or Superman or any cartoon character. I just want to be myself. And this is me, the great Googly Woogly. So um, do you wear any of these pieces in everyday life? I costume about 30 or 40 days a year. 30 or 40 days a year, wow. And is this costume more something than your regular year-round costume? Well, like, uh, well, I mean, it depends on the event, but uh, there's SantaCon and Burning Man. And then, of course, Halloween and uh, St. Patrick's Day. So I've got a good leprechaun. I've got multiple Santas. I've got, I mean, I've got hundreds of costumes. So, Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And uh, for more coverage of Comic-Con, please check out Wired.com.